Welcome to the Tradies in Business podcast with your hosts, Warwick Bidwell and Nicole Cox. Divert your phone and grab a brew as Waz and Nick unpack tips, tales, secrets and stuff-ups from guests both inside and outside your trade, helping educate and inspire you to break the cycle of gut-busting and money stress and create a true trade business. G'day listeners. Hello listeners. Hello Coxie. I'm feeling excited. (laughs) I'm surprised that you're able to focus to be able to record these episodes. (laughs) Uh, They're going to be pretty quick because... (laughs) Mm -hmm. I'm a bit excited. (laughs) Because Coxie is... Actually, I almost thought, Nicole, that you might have said, you know what was? Um, You're on your own for the next three days, Trady (laughs) Ronacast episodes. I'm out of here. <laughs> I've thought about it. No, I didn't actually. I love what we do. I enjoy the podcast. I'd feel a little lost if I hadn't done them before. But there you are. Yes, I'm taking a break. I'm actually, can you believe it, Warwick? You know me too well. I am going to take a break. I'm going to leave the laptop at home. I'm not going to think about work much, although generally when I'm on the road, that's when all my great ideas hit me. But, yeah, I'm going out west yeah, where I've going. never been. You're going uh, out the back of beyond, well, for you anyway. Yeah, it is for me. <laughs> so, I'm a bit of a city girl at heart. Having been um, born and grown up for a lot of my years in the country, but it was a big central town, Wagga is a huge town. You can hardly call that country. But I am a country girl at heart and I tend to stick around the city because it feels a little bit safer now that I'm an older person. <laughs> But an older person. An older person. The builder has finally convinced me to get in the car with him and go out west a little way. We can't go too far because we have time constraints and, well, we can only go within Queensland. So we're going out to Roma. Good old Way Roma. Out west where the rain don't fall. I don't Terrible. think it'll be very rainy out there. No, I don't think it's been raining in Queensland for a long time. No, I think it'll be very dry. But we're going to take an empty esky and we're going to go for a drive and see what we can pick up on the side of the road on the way, i.e. stalls, not dead kangaroos, Yep. and see what we can find. No roadkill, although there will be plenty no around. Things. I'm sure the animals would like it if we were taking them, but no, no thank you, not my car. So, um, yes, this episode is pre-recorded. Most of our episodes are pre-recorded, obviously, because it's a podcast mm. and they're not mm. done live. Uh, no. But uh, we're going to knock out a, a few quick episodes and um, this is the first of them, Coxie, for mm. uh, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. This episode. So by the time you're listening to this, listeners, Coxie will be... Where the hell will you be by this time, by Saturday morning? We'll be leaving Roma and heading over to Harvey Bay. Cool. Um, so you'll be donating money to smaller regional economies, we will be. Mostly in the form of fuel and um, steak. coffee. Steak. Coffee. Steak, steak for dinner. Steak for lunch. <laughs> steak for breakfast. That sounds like my kind of road trip. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty excited about all the steak, actually. And fuel <laughs> and we might buy some local wine. I don't know if there's local wine for sale in Harvey Bay or Roma, but we'll find something. We'll find a way to... Spread our dollars across as many as many businesses as we can. Not so sure about smaller ones. Wine in Harvey Bay. If anyone's listening from Harvey Bay, let us know fish. if there's some good wineries there. I reckon we could bring some fish home. Mm. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Anyway, so you're taking a break, Coxie, which is something that happens fairly infrequently, <laughs> sadly, uh, and it probably raises the issue on a Saturday morning of those of us that struggle to take breaks mm. um, for whatever reason. And I think a lot of us tell ourselves that we can't afford the time. And I know that you and I have talked about this before, Nicole, and we will probably talk about it again. I'd say so. <laughs> uh, but taking a break is, it's that old thing of, oh, I can't afford to take a break. And it's like, well, can you afford not to? Mm. Sometimes, and especially lately with um, the Rona stuff, and oh, and I don't even want to mention the other event that's been causing uh, 
pain and stress around the world lately um, that happened more recently just because of the, the controversy and the, the hate and everything around it. But there's a fair bit of stress in the world at the moment. Mm. And just a little? Yeah. And whether or not you're sort of busy in your own business and feeling like you need a break from that, I feel like a lot of us need to take a bit of a break and have a little reset, even just around the general stress levels in the world. Mm-hmm. And go do something like you and the builder, you know, just hit the road for a road trip, some tunes, some bad coffee from a roadhouse somewhere, <laughs> <laughs> an overcooked steak in a small country town that costs a fortune, and um, and just have a bit of a pattern break and change things up. Uh, so I feel like a lot of us uh, could probably do with a similar thing. I think we all could. And maybe it's as simple as just a social media break, which is something I never do and will be doing this weekend. I will obviously check in with some stories and things, but I won't be consuming social media, which particularly this year, you and I had this conversation yesterday, this year in particular, I've never seen such a space of hate and judgment like it is now. And that whether that is something that we are actively engaging in or just something that we're regularly consuming, it begins to creep into our mindset and make life a little challenging so for me the most exciting part of my weekend other than rediscovering who my husband is um, will be just switching off from social media and not thinking about all of the stuff that's happening there which just doesn't really add anything to my life at all but when we run a business like ours that is a space that we need to be pretty active in yeah, and like you say, whether it's um, the social media space, whether it's uh, watching the news, I, I think, I guess what I was thinking with today's episode was some ways to take a break without actually hitting the road and doing a, a three-day road trip. Um, and because it's not, well, I will not say possible, it's probably more difficult for a lot of us listening to pack up and take three days away or two days away or whatever it might be. And, and if that's not achievable for you right now, I still think taking a break, in mm. inverted commas, is really important and it's, and it's very overlooked. Uh, and in fact, um, my, my beautiful wife who uh, had her birthday this week um, has actually uh, organised to work a nine-day fortnight through winter which is only, you know, taken two days a month off uh, compared to her normal work. But this is our first Tassie winter and the days are quite short down here. And so there's not much exposure to the sun because to get your kid off outside <laughs> requires you to deal with uh, hypothermia. <laughs> um, and so vitamin D levels probably down, causes a bit of mood stuff, Um and it's quite challenging. Wifey's in a brand new job, like complete, well, not complete career change, but pretty close, new environment, new house. We're a long way from family. You know, there's there's a lot going on. We've had COVID. We had to do two weeks of full isolation quarantine when we arrived. Like, it's been a fairly big deal. And then you throw into that all of the stuff on social media um, and the stuff with my, you know, blended family situation, there's been a fair bit of stress. So... Um, she's organised a, a nine-day fortnight so she can actually take a break every couple of weeks just by having a day at home to maybe do some craft or, you know, go and talk to her horse for the day. But just a pattern break as much mm. as anything. Uh, so, you know, that's that's one way perhaps is just allow yourself to take even a half day, just something mm. different. Like just break the pattern, break the cycle, the rut, the humdrum of what you normally do can be, you know, it's it's pretty close to taking a weekend off as far as the benefit of, of just breaking things up as, um, as a way to help with headspace and energy levels and stress levels, Coxie. We have lists in our house because we quickly, particularly at the moment with all the Rona stuff and not being able to get out and do anything and go anywhere. So we made lists of what it is that makes us happy. So for me, for example, my list includes um, walking, whether that be, it's great if it's a bush walk or if it's a local walk, that's just fine. Uh, Gardening, 
the beach, being outside in the sunshine, putting my feet in the grass. You can see a theme here, can't you? So, and the builders were a little bit different. He liked to catch up with some friends, um, whether it be for a coffee or for a walk or for a beer. Um, he enjoyed going fishing with the boys or less so playing in the garden, but he begrudgingly joined me on that one occasionally. So with our two lists on a Sunday afternoon, we take time out to do what fulfills ourselves each mm-hmm. week as a way to reboot. Um, again, very much like you're saying, it's a reset. It's something a bit different to what our norm is because our norm is so busy. It's a great way for us to take some time out of our regular weeks to do something for ourselves, which makes us both feel more um, satisfied. And when you feel satisfied, you're a better business owner or a better husband or a better wife or a better partner, better parent, because we all need that little bit of time to top our own selves up. And I think that Mm. gets very forgotten ordinarily, but particularly at a time like this when we can't actually get out and do some of those things that would normally fill our cups. Yes. Yeah, it it probably drifts off into another rabbit hole, listeners, for me. What a surprise. (laughs) Uh, With that, you you just bring up about filling your cup. And I had a conversation with uh, one of our community who who is also one of our clients uh, here at Tradies in Business. Um, And we are coaching this person uh, as a tradiepreneur. So we're working one-on-one with this guy. And he just mentioned something about ability to deal with stress and and what's on his plate at the moment and um he made a comment about his number on the scales Mm -hmm. and so i dug a little deeper as we do as coaches and mentors coxie Mm -hmm. (laughs) just to find out what was behind the comment and um you know nothing sinister or anything like that but he just let Things slip a little bit and uh, he'll know that I'm talking about him now because I'm about to, to share his <laughs> secret to the um, to the padding that has arrived <laughs> over the last few months and it relates to ice cream. And oh, but ice cream's really tasty. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't buy ice cream and have in the house, apart from the fact oh, that it doesn't agree with me anymore. Yeah. But if I buy a good gelato to have in the freezer, just so I can have a little bit, dead set, it'll be gone in three nights because it'd be like, I'll have a bowl of gelato and tomorrow night I'll have another bowl of gelato and it just becomes an every night thing. I'm very lucky that I cannot eat ice cream. Otherwise, I think I would do the same. Although Naughty Daughter did introduce me to (laughs) a particular brand that I can consume. I think even you would like. But yes, anyway, ice cream. So... Ice cream has become a nightly thing for said uh, tradiepreneur. And we all know that if you eat a bowl of ice cream every night, you're probably going to gain a little bit of (laughs) extra thickness around the middle. Um, And so we had a conversation about filling the void, filling the hole, and it's that emotional void. And we do things to fulfill ourselves And for a lot of us, a lot of things are still missing from our lives, despite the the easing of some of the restrictions. There's still been an impact. And a lot of us have probably felt some emotional pain and stress in the last three or four months, still are. And so we generally turn to things that fill that emotional need or void. And, you know, for this guy, it's food, right? It's sweet, fattening food. Uh... And so we had a conversation about finding other things to fill that hole. Now, for you, Coxie, it's a road trip this weekend. Mm. Um, For a lot of people, it's exercise. And exercise is a fantastic one because it has that spin-off benefit of keeping you healthy. (laughs) Uh, It might be reading your favorite book or doing some meditation or getting your toes in the grass. So it's your list that you wrote out. Mm. And... I guess in terms of what we're talking about this morning uh, for this episode is in terms of taking a break, it doesn't have to be going on holiday, doesn't have to be going to Fiji or Bali or anywhere like that. Forget about that for the next couple of years. Um, <laughs> I, I think a lot of us could do well from looking at ways to break things up and especially looking for different things to fill that emotional hole with, mm. things that aren't going to make us fat and sick or 
you know, depressed in the form of alcohol and those sorts of substances that just do more harm than good. Yeah, they give you a short-term release or um, hit, but they're not going to help you long-term and actually makes it really hard to deal with stress and stuff going forward. So, yeah, whether it's meditation or exercise or kicking a footy in your backyard or twitching or... Um, uh, I don't know, walking the dog, uh, you know, playing Scrabble with the family, find some things that, that take the form of a break and um, just see if you can work them into your week. That would be my, uh, I guess, wish for all of you listening to this episode. Coxie? You've never played Scrabble with the family, Warwick, have you? No one will play with me because... <laughs> I happen because to be. That's not relaxing in any way, shape, or form. I happen to be very good at Scrabble. My wife. I wouldn't won't, play with you. My wife won't play Scrabble with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I have this beautiful Scrabble set, and uh, my daughter, my eight and a half year old, will play with me. Uh, but I have you to might, coach her yeah, through it. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't find um, playing Scrabble particularly restful at all. I, I can play plenty of other games, but not Scrabble. That's just stress because kids make words up and it just goes all over the place <laughs> that's not fun but i agree we i think we all need to have a list of things that we can draw on things that we can do without av- having to take a physical long-term break from our business it can be little things once a day i we take the dogs for a walk every morning now whether we do that together or i do it on my own that is my one non-negotiable every day as much for the animals as it is for my head it's more for me to be honest mm. it gives me time to um relax with them which i find being with my animals is always very relaxing but i'm out of the house and it's fresh air it's good for my brain my body feels better when i move it it ticks so many boxes for me it's my one non-negotiable every day for me to feel myself then i have other activities that i do that i referenced before that i like to do on a weekly basis if not more regularly where i can but at least once a week i need to take a couple of hours out for myself and it took me a long time to give myself permission to do that and I think as business owners, women, men, all of us, that is something we struggle with, giving ourselves permission to take that time away from the family or take that time away from what you feel like you should be doing or take that time out just for you it can be a hard thing to give yourself permission for. But if you don't, how are you refilling your cup? You can't run on a depleted cup forever. You can't be constantly empty and trying to push through. Your business will start to show it through the cracks that it that appears because you're too tired or mentally fatigued or exhausted to remember that you need to do X, Y, Z or because you're not feeling good enough about yourself because you're not taking that time out to make do the things that make you feel comfortable or good. Mm. Very quickly, all of those cracks start to appear in your mental health, in your business, in your family life. And all you can fix that by taking it half an hour a day or a couple of hours a week. It really is such an underrated, simple tool for life. So one way you can take a break, listeners, is uh, by joining us for our Tradie Happy Hour next Friday. So yes. you've got a whole week almost to plan. get ready for it. Four o'clock on Fridays. And it is. I even... Uh, Even though some of the conversations, I guess, can be a little businessy sometimes, um, generally there's a bunch of laughs, there's a whole lot of piss taking, and um, I think a lot of people are really looking forward to that each Friday now because it's a bit Mm. of a it's it's a pattern break is the neuro linguistic Mm. programming terminology for it, but it's just doing something different to your normal run of the mill day or week. So join us for a drink uh, or a glass. Well, the drink includes tea, coffee, water, um, soda water, cordial. You could just drink the joy that comes from spending time with Coxie (laughs) and me online. (laughs) And and come and fill your cup with a bit of laughter and uh, a bit of feel-good garbage. But, yeah, um, Think about how you can take a break this week, listeners, or this weekend or this coming week. You know, break things up a bit. And I'm going to stop so that we can record a couple more episodes because Coxie is looking a bit distracted already. <laughs> Chopping at the bit. Oh, well, um, we have coaching sessions to do this afternoon. So, no, I'm not going anywhere. I can be very um, thinky-linky about what I should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> hey listeners thanks for listening tuning in following us thanks for the the people who have reviewed the show thanks for all of you who are involved in our community 
Um, we love uh, making a difference to you and um, and we love to hear about the difference that you are making in your own life, in your own trade business, um, you know, by listening to the show and, and uh, being a part of the Tradies and Business community. So thank you for that. Uh, please reach out to us if there's anything we can do to help um, and uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And thank you, Warwick, for holding the fort while I run away and pretend like I don't exist in business. <laughs> and thank you also for continually posting our daily podcast. That's hard work and I don't think we've ever publicly acknowledged how challenging that can be at times for you to try and fit into your very busy schedule. So just a quick thank you from me and I'm sure from our listeners who clearly are turning up every day because we just surpassed 100,000 yes. downloads. We didn't even make a deal out of it. No, um, we need to make a deal. And that's because you managed to get these podcasts up all the time. So thank you. I appreciate that. Well, thank you, Nicole. And thank you, listeners, for letting me know when it doesn't go up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty quick with it. It's like, hey, uh, where's the where's the Trady Ronacast? Was? <laughs> like, it's coming. It's coming. It's, it's coming. getting there. Like, just because it wasn't there at 5.20 a.m., <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolute pleasure coxie and yes hundred thousand downloads cool uh, of that? the show since it started so mm -hmm. um that's that's all thanks to you listeners so uh hang in there we're, we're gunning for two hundred thousand. looking forward to it <laughs> enjoy your saturday bye Uru. you've been listening to the tradies and business podcast with warwick bidwell and nicole cox Find out more about today's guest, tools for your trade business and other cool stuff at tradiesandbusiness.com.au.